In a country ruled by terror, they don't protest. People here disappear for merely questioning Ceausescu's plans. Those who dare talk to you say they pray daily for an early end to the Ceausescu regime, which will bring the program of systemization to an end. Sue Lloyd Roberts, ITN, Romania. Here in a hospital in central China, a patient is prepared to receive the executed prisoner's organ. In the complex transplant process, every minute counts. My kidney was very fresh. The doctors said the prisoners were young, all under 25 and healthy. On the first floor of the army building, I was introduced to Colonel Ang San, the key contact for Western companies wanting to make clothes in Burma. I showed him the list of factories that I'd been given that make clothes for export to Britain, which I'd been told could only be contacted with his permission. Uh, which one would you recommend? Yes, all, we are all our factories in Burma Bay, industrial estate is my control, my, under my control. So if, which factory you want to see? Our factory price is low than other factories. Okay. Yes. For example, you're competing with maybe a daily wage in Thailand of two dollars a day, of one dollar a day in China. What do you want? Less to than one two dollar in Myanmar. Less than two dollars. Yes. Less than one dollar. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Our special correspondent Sue Lloyd Roberts and world affairs producer Ian O'Reilly got rare permission to report from inside the country, but they were deported for being too curious. <laughs> President Hatami promised Iranians reform and won a landslide victory on that pledge five years ago. Thanks largely to the under 25 year olds who make up 60% of the population. Today, these young people are accusing him of betrayal, a message that the Islamic Republic does not want to reach the outside world. Nor do they want us to see the reality of life in Iran. Drive down the wide avenues of Tehran and you see men in cars picking up prostitutes. The authorities confiscated most of this material, but we managed to smuggle out this interview with Leila. There are even 10-year-olds, and lots of 11 and 12-year-olds as well. I started selling sex when I was 11, after I was thrown out of home by my stepmother. I was taken on a tour of Baba Ama, one of the most besieged parts of the city. Look, look at this, look at this. Uh... My guide equipped me with a fake local ID to get us past checkpoints and told me to pretend to be his deaf, mute sister, which suited me fine. The chief imam here preaches that FGM is enshrined in Islamic law and the genital mutilation is good for women. Why? I've had a clitoris for 60 years, and this has never happened to me. It would be funny, except that the Imam has ordered his community not to attend any meetings organized by Gamco Trap. Mm -hmm.